Hi, welcome to Simply Chalk Design. My name is Mai Bella, your independent chalk couture designer. As I'm getting everything ready for a chalking project, here are some things you can help me with. As soon as you come in, please share. Win some awesome merch just by sharing, liking, following, subscribing, and commenting. After you share, comment hashtag confetti. Also, comment with where you are watching from. Also, please like and follow if you are watching from Facebook. If you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my talking videos. If you're watching live, please comment hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, please comment hashtag replay. If you are new to my page or my channel, please comment hashtag pickle. I would love to welcome you to Talk a Tour. I would also love to be your designer. If you are already a designer, welcome. Please slam on the hearts and I thank you for watching. Talk a Tour is a fun, high-end home decor company specializing in reusable silk screen transfers and creamy, dreamy chalkology paste and ink. With so many designs to choose from to create your own fabulous designs. Please sign up for the awesome monthly club couture subscription for only $19.99 per month with a three month commitment. You will receive an exclusive eight and a half by 11 reusable silk screen transfer with three topology paste packets. It is so much fun to get it delivered to you each month. Monthly reusable silk screen transfer is an exclusive Club Couture and for designers only. If on the fifth of every month you will be billed for the club and then your mystery silk screen transfer will be prepared and shipped to you. You can join the club or shop at my website www.simplychalkdesign.com. Also, you can join my Chalk Boss team and become a designer. You can make extra money each month get awesome discounts, earn incentives, and trips. Start your own business in a box and make extra money each month. All you have to do is join my team. For only $99 in the U.S. and $135 in Canada, you will receive everything you need to start your own creative empire and chalk design business. The designer kit is valued at over $240 in the U.S., and over $350 in Canada. Your kit will consist of Chalk Couture catalog, your Chalk Couture apron, seven reusable silk screen transfers, five of our creamy, dreamy Chalkology paste jars, one Gallery Aiden porcelain frame, nine by 12, one boutique board and base, five by seven, one package of 12 chalkable chips, a package of thank you cards, and your Chalk Couture Read Me info. If you would like more information, please message me or comment down below. I would love to have you on my team. Now, let's get chalking. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Good evening. Stop what you're doing and share. After you share, come back and do hashtag confetti. Hope everyone's doing well. Let me see if I can see comments here. So are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Guys, it has been a day. Oh my goodness. It has been a day. So, so busy. I'm drinking cranberry raspberry vodka, something like that, with cranberry juice because, you know, you got to keep it healthy. Cheers, everyone. What are y'all drinking? Hi. How are you? I don't know who you are, but put your name, your comment, and do an emoji so I can make sure I know who I'm talking to, okay? It's not going to show me 
your name unless you approve at the very beginning to join the platform. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, you guys. Oh, I'm so glad to be talking. It has been a day. Don't forget to share. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see it, I see it. Welcome, you two peeps. And welcome, my Facebook friends. Welcome, welcome. Yes, awesome, awesome. Well, I don't know how you share on YouTube, but you can share on Facebook or you can invite people, I believe. I believe you can invite people. Um, hold on, you guys. I didn't even add water to my tub here. So, you guys, it's after hump day, and it's baby Friday. Baby Friday, so the weekend's almost here. The weekend's almost here. Can't wait. I had a very busy, productive day, but yet I feel like I didn't accomplish anything. So it's time to relax. It's time to get our chalk on. It's time for some fun and let's create beautiful stuff. Hello, Miss Mary. Hello, hello, hello. We'll see how um, the Facebook gods and the YouTube gods and the StreamYard gods um, help me tonight, right? So I've been rushing, 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 rushing. But there was blessings today, you guys. We haven't been able to find eggs. I know it's not super important to some people, but I love eggs. Our family loves eggs. So we were blessed. My daughter found eggs, and she brought us eggs today to the store. Then, you know, the day continues. We're very busy. Vendors stocking up, customers coming and going, so on and so forth. Our tea room is not open. For the same reason, we can't find all our ingredients. So, hi, Miss Deborah. Your name came up. Welcome. So, um, it was like 4.15 or something. And I already wanted to go home, you guys. We had people in the store, but I was like done. And like I said, nothing bad happened. And then another blessing. We get two giant bags of tomatoes. Oh, my goodness. And I'm like, well, you know, that's a lot of tomatoes. A church down the street, about three blocks down from us, east from us, was walking around with a big old shopping cart and a pallet. And there were like H-E-B bags, plastic bags, I don't know. So two big bags of beautiful tomatoes that actually smelled like tomatoes. Because I've been buying tomatoes recently, and they're not like they used to be. They look beautiful, but they don't smell like a tomato. Anyway, they taste okay, but they don't taste like a homegrown tomato. So, two big bags, you guys. I leave some for the tea room for next week. And I bring the rest to my, I bring some to my daughters. I bring some to the house here. And then my mom, go leave to the neighbor, go leave to that neighbor. And I'm like... Oh my God, I've got to go talk. <laughs> anyway, so it was a blessing. So welcome, welcome everyone. So this is what we're going to do tonight. Let me... Every time I get up, I drop my towel. So let me make me small right here and send me to the corner. Hold on, I'm messing up. wrong way there we go so it's throwback thursday and you know on throwback thursdays i like to use a little bit of old meaning discontinued transfers retired transfers uh, because i have lots of transfers you guys that i have not even had the opportunity to use why does that look like that do y'all see that hold on let me try and fix that let me see if I can fix that. Hold on, you guys. 
Okay, there's that. Okay, and then let me see if it does not look so weird. It was like cutting the frame up a little bit. There we go. See, it had a black bar there. So anyway, I think it looks better. Now my comments. Miss Deborah, you need to talk to Miss Mary, message her, or Mary needs to message you for a deal of a lifetime. <laughs> anyway, so this, it's Throwback Thursday. I like to use some of the retired transfers and um, that I haven't used. Like this one I cut up and I didn't use it. So now I want y'all to help me and see what we're going to create here. This surface is not a chocotour surface, but I've already waxed it. So we can either do he is risen off to one side and then do an embellishment here. Or walk by faith, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Or this one that is called the heart wreath, which is a beautiful floral Heart, and then it's got two little sayings you can put in the middle love is home or love never fails so what do y'all think we should do yes you deborah you miss mary i think is still here and you need to message her or she needs to message you because i was thinking about both of you today no yesterday today i don't have time to think about anybody didn't that sound selfish? I was so busy, you guys. Anyway, what do y'all think we should do? He is risen, Matthew 28, 6. Or walk by faith, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Or the heart wreath with little flowers and little greenery. What do y'all think? Or are y'all going to let me pick? Welcome. Yes, sorry, sorry. Okay, you guys. If we get 20 shares tonight, tonight, and tomorrow, because I'll count the replays, but if we get 20 shares, one of you is going to win tonight or tomorrow your choice of a paste, chocotour paste jar. And it's lilac, liberty, no, navy, or green envy. So y'all make sure you get your shares. You know where I like for y'all to share. Anywhere but the Pulga or the flea market pages. Anywhere else is great. And make sure that it shows public so you can um, be considered for the win, okay? Also, anything you comment, like, follow, thumbs up, anything like that, hearts, um, any comment, any interaction, you guys, you do get put into the drawing for the end of the month to win a transfer, okay? So let me know. Deborah says faith. Anybody else? Anybody else? You know Miss Mary Alice. You know her. Okay, so we'll do faith. She'll contact you, Deborah. She'll send you a message. So we're going to do faith. Faith was... I believe either 2019's transfer or early 2020 transfer. I don't remember, but it's not available. But if you need something done, I can make it for you and ship it to you. So we're going to label the back as we always do. And the title of this transfer is Walk by Faith.
Yes, you remember. I knew you'd remember. It's Mary Alice, but she's told me many times. It's not many times. She's told me a few times that it's she goes by Mary, but I like Mary Alice. But I'm gonna try and honor her wishes <laughs> and go by Mar and call her Mary. Don't forget to share. Okay, you guys, this is a new transfer, so we are going to fuzz. But before we fuzz, let's pick out some colors, okay? So, we could use a gray of some sort. Or we could use fig, marvelous. And sage, so it looks a little country. What do y'all think? Here's the marvelous for the berries. Let me see. Fig, where's fig? Here's fig for the wording. And then either eucalyptus or Sage, what do y'all think? They're almost the same. Eucalyptus or sage. If you want to do a brighter green, I have spring zinc. Spring zinc, sage, eucalyptus. They're almost the same. And marvelous and fig. What do y'all think? Those are good choices. I think I want to keep it all a little bit muted. We'll use Sage. Hi, Rita. I didn't see you come in. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Okay, guys. I don't want to stay on too long because I am exhausted. I have not eaten dinner. But we are going to embellish we are going to work on two little projects, okay? So let's get going. So we've labeled it. I've cut the corner. Now it's time to fuzz. Use your fuzzing towel from Chocotour. If you don't have a fuzzing towel, use a terry cloth towel, a t-shirt, and as many times as you fuzz it, you guys, just depends on how sticky or tacky your transfer is. I'm going to bring it down a little bit because we're going to embellish the top. I did wax the surface. When it's not chocotour, I don't trust these surfaces or when I, you know, paint them with chalk paint. So. I like to make sure that it's waxed and ready for the transfer. Yes, it showed your name now. Hello, Miss Sin City. How are you? Welcome, welcome, girlfriend. Miss you. We thawed out. I don't know how y'all do it up there. Y'all are up there too cold. Too, too cold. This is my other love. So, we're going to do some chalking, some chalk a tour. I won't say your name because, you know. <laughs> but it's good to see you. I'm glad you caught me live. Okay, you guys. Look at all the different textures of my paste. Fig made it through the freeze. Marvelous got a little lumpy. I had to work with that one. And Sage is creamy dreamy. So that's the status of my paste. You just never know. So let's give it a little mix. Get it ready. Our marvelous here. Marvelous. It's like, it's still going to work, you guys, because it's chunky, but the chunks are soft. They're not rock hard. 
So once you squeegee it down through the screen, you know, they just, they like melt in there like peanut butter. Okay, you guys, are you ready? We're going to use squeegees that I've cut up, mini squeegees, and probably our multi-tool, okay, for the little details. Y'all ready? I need to go check you out. Have you been making videos? I need to go check you out. So... I think we're going to do half of it lift and then do the other half lift and then we'll do the wording in the middle okay hi miss Ophi welcome welcome you guys don't forget to share come back and put hashtag confetti so y'all can win one of these and we get to 20 shares tonight okay so let's get chalking. And if I don't see your comment or I don't respond to y'all, make sure you put your name like Ophi just did and maybe a little emoji so I can see it. Also, if y'all, um, what do you call it, interact, you also get in the drawing at the end of the month. Okay, let's do this. First, I am going to do the marvelous. This is going to be subtle, you guys. It's hard to pick up this one right now that it's chunky, but we're going to work with it. It's got tiny little berries, so we're going to do the little berries. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I think we'll be okay. Just have to work quickly. I'm going to clean my tool and then we'll go to the sage color. This is a real simple but good meaning transfer. It's a little one, it's an A size, but it's still really, really sweet. So I hope y'all had a better day than I did. Like I said, not that it was bad. It was just long and stressful. Too busy. Too busy with so many different things. I shouldn't complain, but I am. I'm tired. <laughs> I'll read your comments in a little bit. Let me get this down. Okay, guys, before it dries, because this is the old formula, we're going to lift and just lay it back down. We're going to lift and just lay it back down to make sure that paste stays on our surface and not in our screen, okay? Then I burnish again, make sure there's no bubbles. Now we're going to do the wording. Be generous. And then let's spread this goodness here. Y'all know I like to chalk in one direction. I don't like to scrub too much because your transfer won't lift. It won't get air bubbles. Now I'm removing the excess. Not access, excess or the extra. And now let's lift and reveal. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so sweet. Can y'all see that? Beautiful. You had surgery. Well, I'm glad you're doing well. Okay, I'll go check you out. I'll go check you out. Blessed to see you again. I'm glad it went well. Need to go check you out. And I've got to do some of those videos too. So we're done with our paste here. So we're going to cover it up so it doesn't dry up. If you think you're not going to use it for a while, you guys, oops, 
squirt a little bit of distilled water. This is just in our mister here. Spray just a little bit of distilled water and cover it up. Especially this one that I had to bring back to life. And they were perfect before the freeze, you guys. It's not Chocotour's fault. It was just crazy. You know, we have to be careful in the summer because it's way too hot. And we had never had to worry about freezing paste, but there you go. So there's our design. Now we're going to embellish the top, okay? So I thought I'd keep it sweet. I've had this for a long, 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 long time. And it's a um, little like, um, what do you call it? Embellishment bundle. You know, it's trim. It just says blush gray trim, five pack, one yard of each color. So there's a pink little polka dot. There's a pink and white little heart. There's like a mint green, tiny little lace. There's gray and mint and pink uh, pom pom. And then there's sparkly pom pom. Isn't that cute? So. Maybe we'll use several just to give it some sparkle. Or that's too loud for this subtle thing, this subtle Bible verse, not thing. So maybe I need to use this little pom pom thing, but let me see if I can get it out of here. Here's a pink, pink. Pink and gray, I think this is better. So what if we just tie that off to one side and then we'll make a tiny little tassel. What do y'all think? Oh, wow, look guys. Okay. To me, it felt longer than a yard. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I got water on there, how did I do that? Okay, can y'all see? Thank you. Whoever just uh, did confetti and shared, thank you. I appreciate it. But make sure you put in your name with a little emoji so I can make sure you get credit, okay? And if we get to 20, you might win one of these. Your choice. But it didn't show your name. Yeah, Facebook does that to me all the time. Okay, you guys, I think I am going to hot glue gun this. Let's cut it here. But I'm going to use raffia to tie it all up to bring it all together. Not raffia, what do you call this? Twine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ugh. Let's twine this up. I'm glad you're all better. Maybe you can come and stay at the island. Remember, we talked about that. Okay, I wrapped it about five times, you guys. Now I'm going to cut it. I just wrapped it up at the top. And this is where we're going to we're going to put our little tassel. You need a vacation. You'll love South Padre Island. You will love it. It's nice and quiet. Except for March. March it's crazy at spring break. But last year, it wasn't crazy. Well, I guess, you know, it all depends with COVID. Uh, last year, it wasn't crazy. They had to keep it calm because of COVID. Crazy, guys. Crazy. Okay, let's get our hot glue gun out. Yeah. 
Yep, I remember I offered you. I offered you. Come down, come down. You'll love it. So I'm going to put this here. Should I put it all the way around? I think I'm just going to put it right here. So we're going to tack it back here because I like for the edge to look finished. Careful not to burn yourself. And then I'm just going to put little dabs of glue here and there. Hold on. Where's my tool, you guys, so I don't burn myself? This is going to be really sweet, you guys. Really sweet saying, and it's going to look really cute. I was going to wrap it around, but I didn't want to waste this little trim. It's adorable. And um, I did get several messages about you all not being able to find keys for your projects. So I'm going to show you what you do when you can't find keys for your projects. Okay, so there's the little trim, and then there's the twine up on top. And remember, we left this tail right here so we can hang our little tassel there. Are y'all with me? Yes, ma'am. It's so sad. So many people have passed. It's just crazy. I don't even like to talk about it too much because it's 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 something else, that's for sure. You know, and it's still scary and sometimes I feel like we let our guard down and it's it's not over. We need to keep taking care of ourselves, you know? It's crazy. Okay, you guys. Now, let's make the little tassel up on top. So we're going to start with a bunch of this, remember? So I usually like to measure more or less how long I'm, I want it. And then I will count like maybe 10 times because we're also going to use ribbon. And meaning I go back and forth like 10 times. Oops. Or five times because it's long and then we're going to fold it, right? It's long and then we're going to fold it and this is going to be the tassel. Stay with me. So that is about, I don't know, like 10 inches. So that's three turns, four, five, six, seven. So seven times two is what? <laughs> Let's do one more. Eight, just to make a fatter little tassel. So there's the tassel, you guys, okay? And before we do that, I'm gonna cut some ribbon. Let me bring all this stuff up here so you can see. Y'all can see part of it. I know y'all like to see my basket. My basket of tricks. Oh my goodness. So here's part of my basket of tricks. So we're going to use some of these colors in there. I don't think I have the green, but we're going to use this green. It's a um, ribbon that's a little bit sheer and it's got green on both sides. So we'll use about 10 inches off of that. And we'll put it in there. I always like to use cream color or a white, cut about 10 inches off of that, put it in there. We do have pink, 
a pale pink, which will do. And we'll do this pink over here that's really pretty. This is, if y'all ever find it at estate sales or anywhere, it's called seam binding. Can y'all see? Seam binding. And there is tons in here. It's 100 yards, but you guys, I've had these forever and I've never run out of any color. So this is what I make my sweet little bows with. And I guess they used to use these. What did they use it for back then? Like slips and undies and stuff like that? I don't know. Okay, what else? What else? Did I use the cream? Sure did. Okay, and we'll use this grow grain. No, no, no. Let me see. What happened to my little check? on you guys i'm looking for the little check that's so cute there it is thank you thank you for the hearts there's the little check okay i think that's enough right Okay, so now I am going to trim all of these, our um, jute, trim it up, trim it up. I'm going to put it right here, you guys, kind of in the center, and I'm going to tie it with these long strings the long jute that we had left and make a square knot. It's like a messy bow, but it's not. Then we're gonna bring it down. We're gonna bring it down. And if you don't have enough of these long uh, jute ends, you can make it work. So you're gonna wrap it that way Wrap one that way. Right there, and then we'll wrap the other one the opposite way. And then we're gonna tie it right there. I'll bring it up so y'all can see it closer. And then you do a square knot right there, nice and tight. Can y'all see what I did? I wrapped it, I wrapped it. One going one way, one going the other way. Those are the tails. If the tails bother you, cut them off. There's one tail and there's the other tail. So first I tied it right here with the ends. Then we wrapped it around the tassel. Now you bring it down and you look to see how long your tassel is. I think it came out perfect. That was 10 inches, more or less. So it's got jute twine in there. It's got, it looks like a scrappy little tassel, right? But it's so cute. So I think I should add a little bow there, but then also I think I should just leave it alone. It's simple enough. You can read everything. It looks pretty just like that. So it'll hang like this. It'll hang like this. Isn't that cute? Okay, I think we're done with this. I think we're done. We'll call it done. I might add an, uh, a little bow to that. We'll see. Okay, we're going to do one more chalking on a surface here. And before we do that, let's cheers. It's hot in here, you guys. I have the air conditioner. Last week we are freezing. This week it's what, 85 degrees outside? Oh my goodness. Let me drink some of my cranberry juice with a little vodka. Cheers, cranberry juice. And I think it's 
um, raspberry vodka. It's delicious, you guys, but only drink a little bit. Your kidneys need <laughs> uh, cranberry juice, right? Okay, guys, now, look, painted this like a sage green. It's my DIY paint. It's actually called Apothecary, this color. So on this, we can put, to tie in that little frame, we can put on here, so blessed, or... I think so blessed. What do y'all think? So blessed, thankful together. Hey, have y'all seen Miss Sheila? I haven't seen her. We need to call her to make sure she's doing good. Or send her a message. Oh, there's family, friends, and memory. But I think we need to tie it into dream, create, and inspire. Welcome, hello, and oh, gather. I think that one is. It's in the 50s. Oh, my God. 50s is too cold for me. Too cold. I think so blessed to tie it into our religious little theme here, right? So blessed. I've decided. What color? Just white or gray? White, you guys. Or you know what? We can do a shimmer frost. We can do shimmer silver because I'm going to show you the key we're going to do in a little bit. Y'all can probably see it if you look real close. You can see it in my work area. I think we should do a shimmer. Or... A gray. What do y'all think? Shimmer silver, a white, or a gray? That's grige or white. Where's my white? I think I'm going to do the shimmer silver. The comments are very delayed. Thank you, honey. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. And I'll go check you out later, okay? It was great, great knowing that you're doing well. Take care. Chat with you soon. So we'll do the shimmer silver. Because it's going to balance what we're going to do. So, here is So Blessed. I've never used it. I do have it cut and ready to go, but I've never used it. And the back is labeled. And we're going to put it here. Oh my goodness, you guys. It barely fits. I'm going to knock off a little bit of that D. I'm going to, just a tiny little bit, that D is going to get knocked off. So we're going to do our farmhouse beads. I'm going to show you what to do when you can't find keys. And we're going to make another little tassel, okay? So here we go. So blessed. Add a lot, add more than you need of your paste, and then remove all the extra, all the excess. Don't waste anything. It actually uses a very little product, you guys. One of these jars is going to last you a long time. Unless you're a crazy chalker more than me, which I'm sure a lot of y'all are. Look, you guys, and make sure you take off 
the edges on the shimmers i've never had to add distilled water so take it off the edges try and get it there in the center so you don't waste anything right and it's ready for the next time you're going to use it okay so this takes a little bit longer to dry there it is so blessed i don't know if y'all can see the shimmer there you go it's got a beautiful shimmer okay guys so now the fun part we are going to it's going to be green 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 we're going to embellish with green beads two four oops six eight 10. Guys, how many beads are in between the, for the rosary? I forgot. Is it 10? 10 Hail Marys? <laughs> Is it 10? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I think we're going to use 10. If I'm not mistaken, I hope I'm not mistaken. Don't forget to comment when y'all come in and do hashtag confetti after y'all share so you can be put in the drawing. Okay, you guys, and this we're going to have to feed. So at the end of our twine, I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, chocotour tape. It's like washi tape. I'm just going to put a little bit to make this a point so it doesn't unravel on me. So we can feed it through. I always say it's gonna be a short one and it's always a long one, an hour long show. So I put a little bit of washi tape at the end of my twine to feed it through. I think I did this the hard way, you guys. So I'm gonna tie it off right here, but I'm not gonna cut it. Ah, I'm gonna lose my balls, you guys. <laughs> Losing my marbles here. Hold on, I've gotta put them somewhere. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Losing my marbles. That is so cute. Okay, so there we have that. I think I'm going to cut it. I'll be safe. Where is it? I'll be safe with that much twine. Okay, so then we're gonna feed our beads. I like to leave a little space, so we'll make a knot at the end and hopefully my bead will stay in place. Just like to leave a little space between. So the bead is not sitting on top of your tag. So here we go. This is easy as pie. It's going to be a green blessed tag. 
I usually don't do anything for St. Patrick's Day, you guys. I think I've, at the very beginning, um, I did buy a transfer that said, what was it, so lucky and blessed? Or, oh, I don't remember what that transfer said, and I've got it. But that's the only St. Patty's Day transfer that I've ever purchased. Okay, so there's our little... Um, ta um, what do you call it? Farmhouse beads. Now we'll make a knot on this side. You guys, if you, um, I have been finding a lot of beads at the, um, what do you call it? Like, uh, the secondhand stores, the Goodwill, um, we have this big um, thrift store called Texas Thrift, I believe. And I found like long strands of Christmas. I guess it was Christmas because you saw them. They were red and green. And um, that's what I used. And I just cut them apart. They weren't glued, so I just cut them apart and that's what I you know i've been using but if they're wood color all you have to do is paint them and i like to use chalk paint y'all know that so now we're going to make our tassel right so before we do our tassel so this dries up we are going to you guys have been messaging me where do you get your keys where do you get your keys Craft stores will have them, um, and they used to be a lot where they had, uh, remember that grunge phase a couple of years ago, three years ago, maybe longer? No, maybe like five years ago. There was gears, locks, um, antique keys, antique looking keys. But anyway, they're usually where the charms are at or their scrapbooking area. If you can't find keys, guys, or you don't want to spend money on keys, um, just use a regular key. I'm going to show you. This is a regular key that goes to nothing. Can y'all see? It's a regular key that goes to nothing. I have already glittered one side. So you can paint it, use chalk paint, or you can glitter it. Okay, that's iridescent glitter. So it's just going to pick up the colors of whatever you used. So, I like to use this E6000 glue. Um, it's, it's pliable. Um, it's really good. It's really strong, but it's like for fabric. Um, and it's more pliable than anything else. But I love it because it dries a little bit faster. And I've never had a cap that's messed up on me. You know that other 6000 of you buy the long tube? It's heck to get it off, right? Heck to get the... Uh, top off. So I also like to use either a paper towel or something to spread the glue. So hope y'all can see. I'm just going to add glue right here. To spread it a little bit here and there. Put your cap back on. And I store it like this in my little container over here. Then you grab a paper towel or something and just spread it a little bit. Throw that paper towel away. Then here's my iridescent glitter. And I usually use a little spoon or something and just sprinkle. I hate, I love to hate glitter, you guys. I hate it that it gets all over the place. But if you do this, then I use a little pinhead. Knock it off a little bit. Wait till it dries. Put it somewhere so it can dry. Then this glitter, put it back in your jar. There you 
you go. It's all out of that. Almost all out of that. You know, there's always glitter somewhere. Cover your glitter. And then I have one of these, I guess architects used to use them uh, for the eraser to get it off their drafting table. Of course, this is an old one, <laughs> but you can use whatever. I like to use this to get everything off. And then I use my Swiffer on my floor so it picks it up, a wet Swiffer. So there's the key, it's gonna dry. I'm gonna help it a little bit with this. Have it on my surface wax tin. My goodness, Facebook, knock on wood, has been behaving. Except for I can't read your name. But welcome, everybody. I appreciated you spending time with me as I de-stress for the day. Okay. So now let's make our tassel. So, you know, like this is the end and this is our tag, right? I like to make it like as long as our tag is. And then you're going to double it because we're going to fold it, right? So there we doubled it. So take this back out and that's the size that we need because we're going to fold it in the middle and that's going to be our tassel, right? So we go one, two, we've already got two turns. This is three, four, five, six, Seven. We'll do seven turns on that one. Cut it off. We'll lay it here. And then we're going to get our ribbons again. A box of tricks. As I drop ribbon. So we're going to do the little check again. Uh, maybe let's do, we'll do the green again. So about 10 inches off of that. Well, I don't know how long it is, but whatever that measurement is, longer than your tag. Let's measure it just to make sure. Just so y'all know. Let me see. This ruler is hard to read because it's one of those centering rulers. Okay. You guys, it's 13 inches. It's not 10 inches. 13 inches. I lied. So we have gray. We'll use some white. Again, we have green, we have cream, where's my cream? I'm using the bias again, bias tape. And what do y'all think? I used this one already. I think that's good. Okay, so we're going to trim the ends off of this. Get it all apart. Okay, grab it in the center more or less, kind of measure it to make sure you got the center. Now we're going to add it to this end, right? Got 
do I do it? I'm going to add it to this end. So right here, maybe you can wrap it a few times. And then we got to tie it. You guys, and whatever's left of like, if this is too long, I don't throw it away. Y'all see me that I, I use little scraps, pieces of twine and other projects. So I'm gonna do a square knot, kind of. So there it is, you guys. It's tight in the middle. It's kind of a, a big, giant, messy bow, okay? But now we're gonna make the tassel part of it. So you bring it down in the center, just like we did before. And this one's a little bit different because we have just one end. We're not gonna tie one one way and one the other way. Wrap it around is what I mean. So you do, you still wrap it, but right here I like to add a dab of glue just so that it doesn't move on you. Now don't burn yourself. Hold it right there. And then start wrapping. That's one wrap, two wraps, and the hot glue is catching some of that. Three wraps, four wraps. I think that looks sweet right there with four wraps. Now we're going to tie it. One more time. And before I pull hard on this, I'm going to add a dab of glue right there hopefully it'll hit it and i won't burn myself so i add a little dab of glue right there so there it is can you all see that just wrapped it here's a long string there's our tassel so before you chop anything off see how it looks that kind of looks cute and before we do any of that, trying to get the glue off of me here, we're going to add our key. So I think I want my key to dangle a little bit. So I'm going to put a knot right here. So my key has somewhere to rest. I'm making like a speed bump for the key. So there's the speed bump. You see that? There's the speed bump. Now we're going to add our sparkly key. And we're going to tie it there. Then I'm just going to trim that tape we put on there to begin with. So here it is, you guys. Let me get some of this glitter that fell off because it's not completely dry yet. But here it is. This is sparkly. Then you have the iridescent key hanging there and your little tassel. And I think the length of this tassel is also good enough. If you trim it up just a little bit, it does kind of fluff it up a little bit. So there you go. So we're all done. We're all done. Let me bring the other one up. You guys, I forgot to mention whoever is local. You know, we're having a workshop at the store. Uh, Leanne is hosting and I and um it's at the store march 5th at 6 p.m okay 6 p.m it's going to be a chalk and sip there's not going to be any food you need to wear your mask on when you're not sipping and we are going to have one person at each table um if it's a big large table and we have extra people 
we'll set you two to a table opposite sides, okay? So there's our little sparkly key with our farm house beads. And then here, like maybe we can put this, we can hang this on a little shelf or put it on a leaner. And look, there you go, you guys. So cute. I know I need to take pictures and post them. I always say that and I get so busy. Can y'all see that? So cute. Adorable. I know you can't see this, but you can see it in person. It's adorable. Love it, love it. So if you can't find keys and they can get pricey because they're very popular, just use a key to nothing, put glitter on it, or use white chalk paste, paint. You can also use paste, gray, black, any color you want. Um, as long as it kind of, you know, offsets your project. Um, that it, uh, what do you call it? Complements your project or is totally opposite. So it can pop. Isn't that cute? Well, thanks, you guys. I said it was going to be short, and look, it's already an hour and six minutes. So there you go. There's the embellishment on that little frame. So cute. Thank you. And it's simple, you guys. You know, it's basically the same stuff I've shown you. It's just different colors and just different things. How simple is that little tassel? And, you know, tassels are expensive also. But you can make your own. Just a scrap ribbon. That's, you know, who knows how old that trim is. That's due twine on the top. There's our chocotour. And then this is a tag. Beads I found at Texas Thrift Store. There were Christmas red and green beads. Jute twine. A key that went to nothing with iridescent glitter. And then more of the same ribbons we used on the other one to make our tassel. So that is all for tonight, you guys. I will count. I will count the... Shares, I don't think Ms. Sheila is here. I need to check up on her. I will count the shares. If somebody won, of course, I'll post it on the page or I'll let you know. But I, I count the shares up until tomorrow, 24 hours, because a lot of people watch the replay and they share the replay. Awesome. Well, if you don't want to pay for those keys, I hope, you know, you can always... Use the, those keys on your projects you're going to keep. And then if you're going to sell, you know, things and you're afraid to get rid of your antique looking keys, just do this. They're just as cute. Look, it's cute. And then if you just chalk paint it, if you don't want glitter, and you just paint it a matte color, gray, white, black, whatever. They're so cute. People love it. And then they'll say, mira, mira que guapa. Yo debía de haber pensado en eso. I should have thought of that. <laughs> anyway, there we go, you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you Sunday. I don't know. I buy mine here and there. And when it was that craze of that grunge stuff, or what do you call it? Was it grunge? Steampunk. It was steampunk, that style. I bought a huge bag of gears, locks and lockets, and the keys. And most, the colors I got, there's a few brushed goldy ones in there, but most of them are like dark, you know, colors. Look, there's a little lock that stayed in there. I don't know if you can see it. But just uh, shop for them or, you know, uh, when people have garage sales and thrift store, thrift, what do you call it? Estate sales, go there and buy them too. My antique keys that are true antique keys, those I don't sell. Those I keep on a long ribbon and it's kind of like one of those, um, what do you call it? Like a wind chime, but it's not a wind chime. They're just all hanging, all kinds of keys. Those I don't sell because <laughs> they're antique, true antique keys. And then all this ribbon and stuff. You know, um, your jute twine, when they have 
40% or 50% off at your favorite craft store, go buy jute twine. I know this one's a little bit thicker than the one I used for the tassels, but you can use this as well. After it, it, it loosens up after a little bit and your tassels hang prettier after a while. But take advantage of when the sales are coming up. Same thing with the ribbon. Don't pay full price for the ribbon. Buy it when it's, you know, 30, 40, 50% off. Yep. Just be sure that when you order online, um, because one of my customers ordered these. Let me see if I can find them. I thought it was hilarious. What did I do with them? She gave them to me, and what did I do with them? Oh, I found them. I found them. One of my customers that also likes to come and craft at the store, and she'll sit there and use my stuff. She thought she was getting the tags that I usually get, right? Like this size, the square ones that I get in my little kits and stuff. Or like this size. She thought she was buying this size on Amazon, right? She thought she was buying this size. She ordered a whole bunch of them and she said, oh my God, I got a huge deal. Look at the size of the little tags, you guys. They're adorable. And I told her, you could still use them. You put part of a flower there, paint them, whatever color you want, or leave it like that. But you put, um, let me see, let me show you what I mean. Because I know words are hard to put in that tiny little thing, but let's use this one. And they just look so cute. So instead of a key, you can hang a little tag from a tag. Hang a tag from a tag. Also, these look real cute, just tied around with a ribbon. And you can put it on a candlestick, a metal um, candlestick, a wooden candlestick, a, what do you call it? Milk glass candlestick, whatever. Uh, do y'all want to see how I put a bird's nest on a candlestick. Anyway, look, there's the tag. You don't have to put the whole transfer, you guys. I'm gonna show you real lickety, lickety quick. I'll have to watch this whole transfer, but it's okay. But just something this small you can still use. And it can be an embellishment instead of a tag you use to put somebody's name or a word or anything. So look at that. Isn't that cute? And then to make it more like authentic or whatever, like I'll do it to this one. That one's still wet. I use this um, antiquing ink, like for scrapbooking. And all you have to do is run it on the edges here and there just to give it some dimension, to give it more character, like it's been around for a hundred years. Is that not cute? Can y'all tell that it changed it? You can do some edges a little bit darker. It just makes it more vintage and it's not vintage. Like this one, you can do the same thing. Can you see the dark right there next to my thumb? So would that not be cute if you don't have a key or a gear or a floating heart. I like floating hearts too. Um, cross, a real nice cross, which is what we should have done for this one. I could have put a cross. So instead of the key hanging there, you could have 
a little tag hanging on a tag. And you just look at this giant transfer and that's all I used just to put a little flower on there. Okay, that's it, you guys, that's it. I have to go have dinner. I'm starving. I calm down. Talking is my therapy. Thank y'all for joining me and keeping me sane. Now I got to wash transfers and go inside and eat. So we'll see you Sunday um, between 7.30 and 8.30. Um, and we'll see what we do then. If y'all have any, any uh, suggestions or anything you want to see me do, let me know. Okay? Y'all have a good evening. Have a good weekend. And we'll see you Sunday. Thanks, guys. Keep sharing. Bye.